Hey guys, what's up? It is Dylan back again with another DJI Mavic Pro tutorial video and today I'm going to be talking to you guys all about the IMU or internal measurement unit. I'm going to teach you guys how to calibrate your IMU and also going to talk a little bit about it, what it is, what it does, and we're also going to talk about when and how often you should calibrate your IMU on your DJI Mavic Pro or other DJI drone for that matter. They all have IMUs. So anyways, so first things first, what is an inertial measurement unit or IMU? It is an electronic device that measures and reports a body's specific force, angular rate, and sometimes the magnetic field surrounding the body using a combination of accelerometers and gyroscopes, sometimes also magnetrometers. So basically in a nutshell, it's a fancy way of saying that an IMU, it has to do with balance and positioning. So basically, when should you calibrate your IMU? So first of all, right when you get your drone. So say you get a brand new DJI Mavic Pro, you either you get the store, it comes in the mail, whatever. As soon as you unbox it, you should watch this video and you should um, go ahead and calibrate your IMU. Uh, the second time, or not the second time, but another time, another instance that you should calibrate your IMU is, you know, as you will, as you may or may not know, depending on your experience with flying drones, um, in the upper left corner of the DJI Go4 app when you're flying, that's where you'll get your um, errors or your warnings such as high wind and stuff like that. So if you're getting anything that says stuff about magnetic interference and also anything about positioning or anything like that, that's a you need to go ahead and calibrate your IMU just to be safe um, as that has to do with positioning and balance. And so um, another instance could be is if uh, you have your drone in one location and you travel pretty far um, geographically. So for instance, I live in Southwest Oklahoma and um, me and my wife went on vacation to Cancun, Mexico in uh, late July, early August of 2017. You love flying the drone in Mexico? I mean, I don't love it. It's pretty nerve wracking to be honest with you. But So as soon as I got to Mexico, the first thing I did when I got in our hotel room, uh, there on the resort, the first thing I did was I got my Mavic Pro out of my luggage and I calibrated the IMU. It's just good to do um, because again, it's about positioning and stuff like that. And so um, it's good to do it then as well if you travel a long distance. And then um, just keep in mind guys that as far as how often should you uh, calibrate your IMU, just think of it as, think of your drone as kind of like a vehicle in a way and think about calibrating the IMU as kind of an oil change. It's just um, good and healthy for the drone. Um, it's just uh, something that you should do. You don't, don't do it every single time before you fly. Um, you don't even need to do it as often as calibrating your compass. Um, but you know, probably once a month wouldn't hurt at all to do it. Um, you can get away with not doing it that often, but I like to calibrate my IMU about once a month. Okay, so now that all the boring stuff's over, Let's finally get into calibrating the IMU. Okay guys, as you can see, I have the DJI Mavic Pro drone sitting down on a nice flat level surface. Level is very important, um, so make sure you do that. And notice that I have the arms folded up, and yes, that is correct. We do not want the arms unfolded, believe it or not. Also be sure that you remove any gimbal clamp um, before you turn your drone on. So now let's go to the DJI Go4 app. And as you can see here, we're going to click in the upper right corner. Then in the upper left corner, the little drone icon, we want that selected. Then we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom till we see advanced settings. Click on that or tap on that. I don't know why I keep saying click. Um, then you're going to want to scroll down until you see sensors. Now we're going to tap on sensors. And you'll notice that IMU at the top is already selected, which is good. Then we're going to click down there at the bottom, you see Calibrate IMU. Now, as you can see here, it says, please, or it says, place aircraft on flat ground. Calibrate is shown. Do not move the aircraft unless rotating it for calibration. Keep aircraft powered on. Do not run the motor. So you'll notice here that I already have my drone, um, again, arms folded up, very important, and I have it facing to the left. Go ahead and do that. I just know this from experience, and you're about to find out why you do that right now. I'm going to hit start on the DJI Go4 app. And as you can see, our drone is facing the same way as in the graphic. And there's these five steps, these five different orientation that it's going to want you to do. Now you'll notice this picture, it wants us to go ahead and carefully and slowly rotate your drone 
to mimic and mock what the graphics showing. And this right now, what we're doing is we're calibrating the IMU. It is this simple. It's uh, pretty much dummy proof. You just follow along, follow the steps, and uh, match the little picture there that's on the uh, DJI Go 4 app. We're on step three of five. Now we're fixing to be on step four of five. And last but not least, step five of five. And there we go, guys. Our IMU calibration is complete. And you notice it says to restart the aircraft. So anyways, guys, I wanted to show you guys um, how to calibrate the IMU on your drone. Again, I would do it about once a month. And also, if you have any other um, issues, pop up on your DJI Go 4 app. So as always, if you enjoyed this video and you believe it helped you out, please smash that thumbs up button. And also be sure to subscribe as I will have more DJI Mavic Pro videos upcoming. As always, enjoy your day, guys. This is Dylan.